All right, hey, Taurus. So we're doing a new spread. For those of you in a, um, a friend with benefits situation, we're seeing if it has the opportunity to progress into a relationship. <clears throat> So the first, um, the first part out we're going to get is, have you talked, <clears throat> have you and this person talked about, uh, moving forward the connection? All right. So let's see, has Taurus and this person, have they talked about moving forward? See what Taurus has got. Okay. So I feel like I feel like you guys have talked about it. If anything, you've talked about the connection and how deep it feels. Okay. Um, I feel like okay, it's like we've, we've waited for something like this for a while. It's we've waited for this to change for a while. You guys probably have been in this connection for some time because it does feel deep, but you guys haven't talked about, um, um, or you guys haven't moved forward. So I feel like right now it's kind of in this hanged or suspended mode. All right. <clears throat> so I do feel like you guys have talked about it, but I feel like there's kind of still a decision making um, that's happening here. So I don't feel like you guys are completely separated, but I feel like the connection is kind of just in a, a suspended mode. So your person's reaction to talking about this. How do they feel? <clears throat> Okay, so there's confliction. Um, your person, I feel like they don't know if they want to, um, they don't know in it, it. If you guys need to uh, reverse the roles, you can reverse the roles. But what I feel like is, um, I feel like there was talk, but I feel like your person could be going back and forth. Okay, um, the five of wands is about um, stringing people along, but it's also about conflict. You guys are single, you're not together. <clears throat> so I feel like what's happening is um, somebody is feeling like they're being strung along, but somebody is not sure if they want the connection to end. But then it's like we have the two of cuffs, we have the lovers. So there is a deep connection here, but it's like, are we going to progress this or not? Um, I feel like your person, <clears throat> they could just not know what they want right now at the moment. They're conflicted. So how does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about Taurus? Okay. Okay, so your person being conflicted all right, they could have some stuff, you know, from their past. It could just be that they have their guard up. They don't know how to open up. Um, they it could just be, I almost feel like a, in the single phase for some time that they don't know how to let anybody in. All right, um, the King of Swords, this is about honesty. This is a successful card. Justice coming out as, I feel like it's a, a form of karma. Um, <clears throat> but how do they feel about you? I feel like they, they have good feelings towards you, but they don't know how to let you in, let alone anybody else. So I feel like this person just has some inner kind of conflict going on. Um, how do they feel about the connection? So they can see it going forward. So how do they feel about the connection? All right, here you go. The divine couple comes out, all right? We have the king and queen of swords, so they can see this as a marriage. They could see commitment in the future. 
um, the um, Four of Wands is a marriage card. All right, and then you got the Divine Couple, so we have the Two of Cups, we have the Lover. So this connection for you, Taurus, it runs really deep. Okay, and then it's like, here we are. I feel like it's a matter of coming into this Emperor energy. Um, and this person that you're dealing with, they could just be really scared. They could have been hurt in the past. They could just be, it's like they know what they want, but they don't know how to open themselves up to be acceptant or receptive, all right, of your feelings. Um, so does this person have anybody else? Are they talking to anybody else? Okay, so I feel like with the Knight of Wands coming out, um, it could be perceived that this person is a player. Um, the Wands energies are good looking. They have a lot of energies around them. Um, it could be that this person um, portrays or seems like they have a lot going on. But I feel like, um, you know, if you guys are with that hangman kind of in a break period, um, judgment card is the angel of the past. So this person is only thinking about the past. All right. And with the four of swords coming out, this is a rest card. Um, so this is your confirmation that they're not messing around with anybody. They could have a lot of people that they talk to. They could be, um, if it's a, a male, um, he could be um, trying to heal the divine feminine. And if it's a female, she could be trying to, to heal the divine masculine, um, being ind independent, um, not being uh, needy for uh, attention. All right, so the wands, the Knight of Wands card actually goes a lot of ways. It is the player card of the deck, but because of these two cards right here, the healing card and the judgment, um, the confirmation um, stands at this person. They're focused on you, but it's like they're afraid, but they're focused on you, but they're afraid. It could be too that they're just not ready to um, give up their independence. So does it, does it, connection have the potential to grow for Taurus and this person you Taurus are coming out with all kinds of soulmate energy um, so if you guys have been butthurt over the disconnect or the hangman mode all right you, you got you kind of have to think in a different light okay because this does have the potential to grow the sun card is the happiest card in the deck, so you two have the potential to make your make each other very, very happy. And with the six of cups coming out, this represents past life soulmates. So you have the lovers, you have the two of cups, you have the six of cups. These are all soulmate cards. Um, you have the sun card, which is the happiest card in the deck. So this has the potential to grow. So, so will the situation change? Will it will it manifest into a relationship? Here's the healing card. All right, so um, you have three cards that tell me that this is, look at, we have, we're going from the six to the seven on the pentacles, five, six, seven. So um, when we have cards that move up like that, it, it is a representation of growth. All right, this, so for the potential, um, or will it, I'm sorry. Um, it, so it's about bringing balance back into the situation all right and healing whatever needs to be healed in this connection all right and then we have another um <laughs> another soulmate card um divine feminine all right so this could be the um, energy that needs to be healed whether on the man if it's the man um what he would be needing to heal is the um the divine feminine aspects so emotion love um, learning to share feelings and if it's a woman it's learning how to be independent and not dependent upon somebody learning how to do everything by herself with or without somebody and you know truly just coming into the energy of making um, self happy so it will potentially grow but there's a lot of healing too that needs to be done between the two people and i feel like it's on an individualistic uh phase i don't feel like you guys are just simply not talking i feel like there there's some um communication but i feel like that hangman is the suspension so it's not really progressing it's not really going backwards or forwards so 
So what does the near future look like for Taurus and this person? Wow, you're just getting all of these soulmate cards. So the near future, wow. <clears throat> you have, look at that, divine feminine and masculine now. Another confirmation, you have the high priestess, okay? You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but here we go, we have temperance. So in the near future, this is going to manifest itself back around. Um, the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, and this is a passion card, all right? So to get this card, it just means that this is going to um, come back around to where, where you guys began. It's going to pick up in that manner, but this time it's like people are going to be healed and the situation is going to be fair and balanced. It's going to be done in peace and love and harmony. Another soulmate card. And then here's the energy that you could be dealing with, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, it could be um, somebody with Libra and these energies could be anywhere, any placements in their chart. Um, but in the near future, it looks like it's going to come back around. So what is um, the advice for Taurus? What is the advice? Let, let's do this. Yeah, I think positive. Mani I feel like manifest is like a big thing right here. Look at that. Manifest the situation. Taurus, if you want this situation to come back together, you got to do your part. It's like uh, the magician is somebody who um, makes stuff happen. They don't just sit around and they don't wait, wait for things to fall in lap. The magician is somebody who gets um, stuff done. All right, you want to you want to be the couple. All right, so we have the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. So, whichever placement you are, um, we have the the fire, the passion, the smarts, um, the success. So, you're coming out with all the energies in your read. Um, so you could be dealing with any basically any sign, but also to your team is saying, if you want it to, if you want this to manifest it's like what you first of all you got to think positive and know that it's coming back around but secondly too it's like you got to do your part so should taurus um have a talk with this person should taurus reach out Okay, so I feel like you, um, whoever I'm talking to, you could be, you know, watching this person. Um, this Page of Swords is uh, spying, stalking. Um, this is also about delayed news, all right? But I feel like what your team is saying is that if you do decide to reach out, here's the Ace of Cup coming down to this person right here. If you decide to reach out to this person, it's going to be a victory in your favor, all right? Where things have not been so settled in the past, you're going to be moving forward, all right? So really, Taurus, I feel like your team is saying that if you want to be with this person, if they were rocky in the past, it's going to come back to, it's going to come back to full manifest. There's too many positive cards. Um, for this not to work out. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Um, let me know if this is a read you like, and I will keep pushing these kinds out. All right, bye.